Question 3. Sucrose reacts with water to form glucose and fructose. Okay, so this is reaction A. So from here, we roughly know that uh, whenever a compound reacts with water, uh, this one most likely is hydrolysis. Okay, so for part A, suggest the name for this type of reaction, hydrolysis. Okay, part B, explain in details why glucose and fructose they are pair of structural isomer. Okay, structural isomer we know that they must be or share the same molecular formula, but their structure is different. So here we know that the glucose and fructose. They have the same carbon number, hydrogen number, and the oxygen number. So carbon number is 6, hydrogen number is 12, oxygen number is 6. The other difference is what? The difference is the, the positions of the functional group. Okay, so for this one, the carbonyl carbon or carbonyl group is at the terminals. But for fructose, the carbonyl group is in the middle of the chain, not the terminals. Okay, so then you just need to explain something like this, uh, like what I told you just now. Glucose and fructose, they both have the same molecular formula. This is the first thing that them, they must have. And you just need to explain the positions of this uh, carbonyl group. Carbonyl group in glucose located at the terminals, as I told you just now. Here, terminals, the first carbon. Okay, but the carbonyl group in the fructose located in the middle of the chain, right? Not the terminals, right? It's here. Okay, C. Reaction A occur faster in the presence of enzyme, and this is reaction B. So means reaction B with enzyme. Reaction A without enzyme. Okay, part one. The activation energy for the reaction B is uh, positive 29 kilojoule per mole. Predict the value of the activation energy of reaction A. Reaction A is without catalyst or without enzyme, so it must be higher than this value. So you just put any values as long as higher higher than this 29. Okay, part two. The enthalpy change for the reaction A is negative 14 predict a value for enthalpy change for, uh, for reaction B. So first you need to understand, the enzyme or catalyst will lower the EA. So let's say this is the EA for A. When the enzyme use, then the EA lower and become this EA for B. So it's going to re, uh, lower the EA, but it will not really change the delta H. The enthalpy change for the reaction means the hydrolysis of the sucrose. It's always the same. It's negative 14, so no change. Okay, so part three. Sketch a label energy diagram for reaction B. B is the one with catalyst. Okay, use the rele relevant values from C1 and C2. Okay, so from here we know that okay, the reactants must be sucrose and water. Products must be glucose and fru fructose. Okay, so since it's given negative 14, so you must draw the arrow down. So means the delta H is negative 14 kilojoule per mole. So pointing down for this to form the products here. Okay, and you have to put the EA. So just point it up and put this 29, 29 kilojoule per mole. This is the E8 for the reaction B, which uh, happened okay, together with enzyme. For part D, one gram of sucrose is completely combust, okay, and the heat energy produced is used to increase the temperatures of 250 gram of water inside a carometer. Okay, the temperature that increase is uh, 15.7, right, from this to this. 
<clears throat> so part one explain what it means by enthalpy change of combustion of sucrose very easy enthalpy change when one mole one mole of sucrose burn in excess oxygen under standard condition must be one mole and must be excess of oxygen Part 2. Use data booklet. Okay, this one is in the old syllabus. Data booklet needed. Normally, data booklet you just you need to use is this one. Right. <clears throat> and of course, to use the data booklet to get the molar mass. Right. Now, first thing that you need to do is uh, uh, calculate the Q, the energy first. So, Q equal to mc delta t, the mass is the mass of the water used which is 250 here okay 4.18 is just a specific heat capacity of water because water is the one that absorb the heat so we must use the heat capacity specific heat capacity of water okay delta t told you already is about 15.7 Okay, 15.7 here. Okay, after you calculate, you should get okay, 16406.5 Joule. Okay, to calculate delta H, nowadays you have to put negative sign. So negative Q over 1000. Why Q over 1000? Because Q over 1000 will convert Joule to kilo Joule. So, Joule to kilo Joule. Okay, over N. The N is the, the most of the reactant. In this combustion, the reactants okay, that used to produce the heat is the sucrose itself. So you must use the mole of sucrose here. So it's one gram given here, one gram. Okay, over its molar mass, so which is 342. So this is a mole of sucrose that used. And the heat that generated okay, is absorbed by water. Okay, so after you calculate, you should get negative 5611 kilojoule per mole. Okay, this is the calculation, and that's all for this question. Thank you.